it started in a small Seattle automotive shop. Two mechanics had a vision, a tougher breed of truck, custom built, a truck Northwest Industries could count on, on primitive roads and in heavy weather, day in and day out. The result was something utterly new to Northwest roads, the Gersicks. Harry Kent and Edgar Worthington believed that what was good for the Northwest would be good for the country. They purchased Gersicks and renamed it Kenworth. While the name changed, the philosophy behind the trucks remained the same. Build a premium truck to a customer's own specifications and stay by that customer's side mile after mile. In the West, a truck can go from the warm coastline to a freezing mountain summit in just an hour or two. Kent and Worthington knew that a truck custom designed for such harsh conditions and proven on the job every day would be second to none. Through the 20s, Kenworth came to stand not only for strength, but for innovation. The company built trucks on pressed steel frames. They offered seven-speed transmissions, pneumatic tires, and more comfortable cabs. Business was booming. Production rose to three trucks a week. In the crash of 1929, the world came to a standstill. But thanks to innovative thinking, Kenworth developed new markets. To offset the decline in truck sales during the Great Depression, the company designed and built buses and fire trucks. Kenworth continued to lead the world in truck design. In the 1930s, they became the first American truck company to install diesel engines in production models and the first to offer a sleeper cab for the comfort of drivers. Nothing, it seemed, could slow the company down. In 1941, America was at war, and Kenworth aided the war effort in every way. The Seattle plant was converted to make nose sections, bomb bay doors and bulkheads for B-17 and B-24 bombers. For the first time, women stepped in to fill critical labor jobs. The War Department saw Kenworth's ability to design tough, specialized vehicles and asked the company to build M1 wreckers for the Pacific Theater. As the war came to an end, Kenworth caught the eye of Paul Pigott, president of Seattle's Pacific Car and Foundry. He was operating his business on the same principles of quality, integrity, and customer service that had been established by his father, William, who had founded the company. Paul Pickett believed a post-war boom would propel the motor truck industry to new heights. In 1945, he acquired Kenworth for Pacific Car and Foundry. It was the Pickett's first foray into the truck business. But in the first five years of their leadership, Kenworth introduced 27 new truck models. Wartime experience with aluminum airplane parts helped Kenworth engineers pioneer lightweight chassis and hubs. But as always, Kenworth knew the best innovations came in response to customer needs. Kenworth salesmen watched sugarcane growers in Hawaii building temporary rail tracks to haul cane out of the fields. No truck could do the job until Kenworth came along. In the Arabian desert, Kenworth engineers customized a truck for Aramco with special radiators and balloon tires to keep rolling through deep sands. And in the Yukon, where oil workers fought sub-zero conditions, the truck of choice was a Kenworth 923. Because of their dedication to testing trucks in the field, it's said that Kenworth engineers wear muddy boots. Nowhere is this truer than in the logging industry, where Kenworth was a pioneer in the field and developed a reputation for building the toughest, most reliable trucks for the job. The 50s and 60s brought continued international expansion 
with the openings of Kenworth Canada, Mexicana, and Australia. Throughout the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, Kenworth sales were dominated by the W900 and K100 series. Both the conventional and cab over models offered innovations in driver comfort, transmission options, and aerodynamics. In 1985, Kenworth introduced the vehicle that changed the truck industry forever. Perfected in a wind tunnel, the T600's aerodynamic form set new standards for fuel efficiency and driver comfort. Today, Kenworth's leadership and dedication to innovation continues. Kenworth trucks keep the world moving whenever Wherever Kenworth drivers are behind the wheel, the company goes with them every last mile in the world's best truck.